In the UK, MPs are introducing new laws to protect US military bases in Britain. A person could be punished just for walking a dog nearby. The government's using legislation enacted over a century ago to move ahead without Parliament's approval. And for more, let's now cross live to RT's Laura Smith. Laura, so what kind of activities will be banned under these laws? Well, there are 20 activities altogether, and I'm not going to list them all, but they range uh, for, from uh, things like pitching a tent near a base or bringing a caravan near a US airbase. All of these things, by the way, you're liable to immediate arrest, no further discussion. Uh, taking photographs of anything or anyone, uh, digging near a base, or even, as you mentioned, failing to clear up after your dog near a base, which is quite a, an odd thing to be arrested for. Um, the government's obviously doing this to tighten security around uh, bases all around the country but the thing is that these laws haven't ever been discussed in Parliament the government's using a 200 year old law which it's sort of bringing back uh, it never went away completely but it just sort of lay dormant um, which comes under the control of the Ministry of Defense which means that these laws don't have to be discussed in Parliament at all they can just be introduced completely unilaterally now they apply to around 150 bases all over the country. Among them are two uh, US Air Force bases that are key um, centers for US eavesdropping, basically. Um, they are in the middle of the country near Milton Keynes, and they're signal relay stations. And at one of them, it funnels back data to Washington uh, from this network of, uh, of uh, embassy uh, based uh, spy bases, uh, including that Berlin facility, if you remember, that was uh, listed listening into Ang or allegedly listening into Angela Merkel's telephone. Uh, there, there were previously no special laws that were put in place to govern the land around these bases. So their introduction now is raising questions among critics. They're saying, you know, does it mean that there'll be an expansion of the bases? What are they trying to hide and why is the UK government helping them in this? And campaigners are also worried that it's preparing the ground for an expansion of the US uh, drone network, that this is in preparation for that and we know there is strong evidence that the UK has been involved uh, in, in, that its bases have been involved in the targeting of drones in the past. Oh, she's Laura Smith live from uh, London. Laura many, many thanks indeed for that.